everybody. Hello, just getting started here. How are you? It seems a little bit close. Let's see if I can move that back a little so that you can see the guitar. Hi everyone, welcome to Monday. Can you believe that it is Monday? We're almost halfway through January 2020. Isn't it crazy? So I'm just looking through the laptop, just getting the workbook up and running. I was about to start my Facebook Live and then the battery on my laptop ran out. So a lesson for myself is to make sure that everything is um, either tuned or that the battery is, is um, charged for the phone or for the laptop. So hopefully you've done a little bit of homework, hopefully you've gone through your basic chords, you've had that 10 minutes a day to practice and that your fingers are getting nice and kind of see, I guess that they're toughening up, that you're getting nice tough fingers. And hopefully you're getting good at transitioning from one chord to another. Now that you're on lesson 9, you'll, you'll know quite a few of the basic chords. And today we're going to do something different, which is quite neat. It is, um, we're going to have a look at a bar chord or two. We're going to have a look at the shape of a bar chord, which will be quite cool. So hopefully you've got your guitar ready and it's all tuned. It'd be great to hear how you're going with the tuning of your guitar, whether you've managed to do it. I know with some people it takes some time to get tuned up and to, to actually learn how to, how, to, how to tune a guitar. So it's um, something that takes time. I know that there are some people who go to the local guitar store and ask them to not only tune the guitar but ask them to teach them how to tune the guitar. Um, if I could do dual screens, maybe in the future that's something I can do is um, have a dual screen and on one screen have the guitar tuner and on the other just show you how to tune the guitar if it's not something that you're familiar with or if it's not something that you've done before. But even if you haven't got a completely tuned guitar, even learning the finger placements and learning where to put your, your fingers is really important. So that's something that you will be getting good at by now. Okay, so I found the workbook. Okay, so let's have a little bit of a warm-up like I like to do. We're going to warm up with the A7, the D, the D7. So an A7, and then we're going to go, we're going to do five strums, just go down, stop, down, stop, down, stop on A7, and then we're going to go five strums on the, um, the D, and then we're going to go five strums on the D7. So let's do, let you get ready. It's going down to the lesson nine in the workbook. Oh look, it stopped on happy birthday. Hey, did you have a go at happy birthday on the C, in the G and the F? If so, it'd be great to hear your thoughts and, and hear what it is you, you know, whether you were able to change from the C and the F and then the G. Um, and hopefully at the next family event or friend gathering, you can play happy birthday. And either the D and A and or G, or the C, the F and the G. All right, so you ready for your warm up? On here, so first finger goes on the Easter Bunny, goes driving, then there's a gap, and then the second finger goes on the B Bunny. Down, stop, down, stop. So five of each, a couple of times, a couple of times, and then we're going to go to D, which effectively is just down a set of strings, and this one comes up. So let's go back to A7, a few more of those. A7, nice easy strum, and then down a set of strings, and then D. So bring your middle finger up to the B string on fret number three. That's it. So now you're going to turn your D around, and it's going to be a D7, which we learned in lesson eight. First finger on the B string of fret number one. Second finger on the G string, third finger on the little E string, so it's back to front D. It's a good transition chord that one. D7. And then we're going to go to A7. G and on the little E.
sound because these things here because it's not going to sound right. So make sure your the bends in your finger, they're not knuckles, eh? Because these are knuckles, so whatever these are called, make sure they're poking out and not like that, which I've seen before because it's just not going to sound the same. We're going to go to A7 a few more times. Strings to D, bring your middle finger up. That's up. Go back to front D, which is D7. Excellent. Okay, hopefully you're nice and warmed up. Just keep playing that while I'm looking for the right page in the workbook. So go to A7, down, stop, down, stop, down, stop, down, stop. A7. Down, stop, down, and now go to D, D, and then down, stop, down, down, stop, down, there we go, down, stop, down. I oh, think we get to learn a new song today. That's exciting. Down, stop, down. Okay, so now that we've had our practice, do you remember G7? We learned it in lesson 8. G7 is like a stretched out C. So your first finger is on the little E, and then this one goes all the way up to A, and then this one stretches all the way up to the, light, the capital E. So G7 is one that we learnt in um, lesson 8, so that's a stretchy chord, and like I mentioned, it's a good transition chord. So if you're on G, G, G7, and then you go to C. Uh, G7 is a nice transition chord. So that was in the workbook. So A7, D7 and G7 is, is in the workbook for you to um, practice. And now we get to learn a new song, which is quite exciting. And it's a song that everybody knows and it's called If You're Happy and You Know It. Clap your hands. So hopefully you've got your guitar ready and you're playing D. And then we're going to go to A. Then we're going to stay on A and then we're going to go to D. G, and then there's D, A, D. It's very much like happy birthday. with me which would be awesome but you may have noticed in that run through that the chords are quite quick the changes are quite quick so I'll slow it down a little bit and then I'm going to sing the chords for you if you're D and you D and then A, A stay on A and then go to D Page, the song is on page 49 of the workbook. We are now going to look at the joy of a bar chord. Get in the right position. This is a bar chord, everybody. A little 
little bit more advanced. So, a bar chord is either in the shape of an E or an A minor, or in the shape of a D, but using your pinky. So, what I want you to do is grab finger number one, and I want you, let's start on the third fret, because it's a little bit easier. I want you to start, put your finger on the third fret, and it's going to press really hard. Look how hard I'm pressing. Look how hard I'm pressing so hard. And your thumb, see the white pressure going on my thumb there? That's how hard I'm pressing. And I'm pressing so hard that I've got lines on my fingers. And that's what you got to do. You can't do a bar chord by pressing softly because it sounds like this. You get it? It sounds like this. And that's just not okay. Nobody wants to hear something that sounds like that. So, you got to press really hard. So, practice with me before we even put these, these other three fingers on. Use your thumb, push down really hard, and use your full fingers, this finger to cover every single string on fret number three, and use this to strengthen it. Ready, go. It should sound like that, it shouldn't sound like this. If it sounds like that, you're not pressing hard enough, you've got to press hard. Toughen up that finger. So, go in the middle of the fret lines. Okay, with the other three fingers, you need to do an E shape. With this is called G. G. If you were to go down here, it'd be F. F sharp. G. G sharp. A. A sharp. B. C. C sharp. Okay, so we're going to do G. I think what I could do for lesson 11 is teach you the musical alphabet. Usually I give my students a chocolate fish for remembering it. Okay, anyway, so first finger, like I mentioned, goes onto the third fret, pressing very, very hard. Make sure you press so hard that your white tips, the, the thumb gets white and because you're pressing so hard and that when you're finished, you have those lines on your finger because you've been pressing so hard. The next thing is to put your middle finger on the Easter Bunny but on the G string and these two fingers doing an E minor shape and this is a bar chord. Hopefully you can take a photo and show me in the comments because bar chords once you get to know them so much more versatile you don't have to just do the basic chords. Okay so this is a G so most of the bar chords that we do in major in major notes are with the E shape the next bar chord is in the A minor shape. So this is the minor chord. So this would be um, there's B minor, C minor, C sharp minor, D minor. So then you've got the A minor, B minor, C minor, C sharp minor. So it goes all the way up the fretboard. So you've got the E shape and then you've got the A minor shape. So the, the bar is always going to be this. This is your bar. B-A-R-R-E is how it's spelled, not B-A-R, interestingly enough. That's always going to be there. You're always going to put that on one of the frets. And the ones next to it, it's always going to be in the E shape or the A minor shape. So that's the two main shapes, but there's also your pinky going onto the bottom four strings. And this, always, this one's always going to be the bar, but it's your um, pinky, let's see if I can get it close up, is on the bottom four strings, the little E up to the A string. So, let's do that shape. So you're going to press really hard, otherwise it sounds like this. This is not my favourite shape, by the way. It hurts my fingers, it hurts my pinky. If I was going to do that, this is like a B. If I was going to do a B, I'd probably do it up here in, in this shape because for me this shape is a lot easier than doing this shape. Because I can't sustain it for that long, but some of you have very strong hands, um, especially you know the guys that I've taught guitar, they pick this up quite quickly because they have really strong hands. But even if you're a girl with strong hands, you should be able to do those shapes quite quickly. You know, one thing I did when I first learned the guitar is I went around the wall and I would make that shape. Okay, it's difficult to do with my other hand. 
but I'd make the shape against the wall and that that kind of gave me the muscle memory that I need and I yeah so with the wall I would just go and press my finger against the wall and get the shape and that's how I learnt the shape of the bar chords so in your workbook you will see that it's spelled bar b-a-a-r-e and it says in the workbook on page 50 as you can see from the pictures bar chords cover all of the fret with the forefinger and make a basic chord shape with the other three fingers so that's the basic chord shape which is e or that's the basic chord shape which is a minor or then there's the a shape so with a bar chord the first finger is always going to cover all of the frets the four finger and then these ones are always going to make either an e or an a minor depending on what it is so i think at least in 11 i might go through the, the musical alphabet so that you know what everything's called when it's in a bar chord because this one is an f and with a musical alphabet it goes f f sharp g G sharp, A, A sharp, B. B and E, bacon and eggs, they have no sharp, so it would go B, and then it would go C. C sharp, D. And the same thing with this. If you go to the A minor shape, B minor, C, C minor, C sharp minor, I've got some fingers. Okay, so that's the bar chords, and that was what we're going to learn for lesson nine. Before we finish with lesson nine, let's have another go at that song. Hopefully you've got your guitar ready, and you're able to play it along with me, uh, which is the D, the A, the D, the G. And remember, they go quite fast. So, D, A, A, D, G, D, A, D. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy. these are being recorded so you can watch them at any time. In lesson 10 we're doing revision of bar chords and I will go over the musical alphabet again and yeah we've got some all the bar chords to look at and the musical alphabet and then that's it. All 10 lessons done but as I mentioned maybe we could carry on the lessons now and then and sing some songs together or look at some other more advanced guitar things regarding the guitar, guitar things. Anyway, it's lovely to see you again. I hope you have a lovely evening or lovely day and feel free to message me anytime. A notification will come up on Facebook and I'll be able to see your video, see your photo or um, answer any questions that you may have. Okay, thanks. Bye.